Well, you probably have a spot in your yard, overgrown, underused, maybe full of weeds. Jason? I certainly have one in my yard. Not but anymore? No, not anymore. It took just about three hours. We went from a bit of a disaster to a lovely garden in my backyard. Boy, they worked fast. Look at this, yeah. This is... Oh my uh, goodness. Look at that time lapse. It's all with the help of designers and landscapers at Bachman's. Like many of you, I had that one nasty spot in my yard. I mean, this was not a pretty looking chunk of land here. No, it's like a lot of homes, you know, the landscape's kind of gotten let go a little bit. It was kind of a weedy area, underutilized. Patrick Warden is the head of Bachman's Landscape Services. He designed two raised garden beds for us. It's just the perfect size for a garden. We've tried to start a garden here before, but we didn't prepare the soil correctly, and we tried to plant too much. The soil and also I think the space makes a very big difference. So here we have raised garden beds that give you the parameters and confines um, to, to plant accordingly. Karen um, Bachman Tool says garden. square foot gardening is very popular. It's great for new gardeners or people without a ton of space. And those clean lines go with our contemporary landscaping. It kind of keeps in the same shape as your bed here. It kind of fills that area up so you don't have a chance for weeds to grow. The theme here is salsa garden. There are tomatoes and peppers and cilantro. My peppers are in. I've got an eggplant already. Some of the apples are coming in. Now this gardening thing is pretty easy. Yes, because I'm a little late to plant. These veggies have been growing in the greenhouse. I may be the best gardener in Maple Grove. This thing hasn't even been planted and already I have strawberries. That's right. But no one should be afraid to ask for help. Depending on your budget, you could hire a coach to talk through ideas, a designer to fully plan, or a whole crew to install. But they think they should know, and a lot of times with new homeowners, um, they kind of inherit uh, a, a little bit of a mess. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, it looked horrible at the beginning, didn't it? In one week, we've had some nice growth in that garden already, but what? also had my first experience with rabbits. Oh. oh, no. Apparently, I had a bunny living underneath mm. my deck, kind of in some of the other yeah. uh, flowers that are there. You just provided all He's of their meals. He's thrilled. Yeah, exactly. The bunny has been thrilled. The bunny, the bunny has Eating been well. enjoying the strawberries and the lettuces. <laughs> So yesterday we went back to Bachman's and bought some little, uh, on one of their segments they did here on Mid-Morning, they were talking about what you uh, spread to try to keep rabbits away. Mm -hmm. And the first thing the lady at Bachman's said to me was like, well, you know, you really need a big old fence. I'm like, we just put this thing in. <laughs> I did like your gardening outfit. Nice shoes. <laughs> Great work, Jason. Yes. Oh, yeah, you got to have the good shoes for it. So.